a couple of things to talk about this morning in the healthcare space. I'll start off with Impedimed. It's been a bit of share price weakness over the last couple of weeks. It's one of our high conviction calls. Uh, there's been a rising short position. It's, I think it's one of these speculative names where the high market cap has become an easy target for the shorters. Uh, so just a quick reminder on Impedimed, they've got fluid measurement technology measuring changes in tissue, bone and fat within the body. These minor changes in fluid levels, uh, if you can detect them earlier, are important in uh, helping to treat conditions like lymphedema and heart failure. Uh, so last week, uh, they had their AGM and a series of presentations in Australia. Uh, what they told us was that the commercial rollout of their lymphedema program is going well. It's now across 60 cancer centres in the US. They have a new product which will take the time to test down from 15 minutes down to one minute, and that's going to be a real game changer in terms of take-up rate and adoption rate. Um, so the fundamentals of the story remain very strong in my view, but the key driver over the next 12 months will be the heart failure market, uh, where they're looking to not only uh, start and complete a trial, but also have product approved and commercialised. So we put out a quick note this morning, uh, just moderating our revenue growth targets for the near term. Um, but really pointing you to the news flow that's coming out over the next uh, 12 months. And that, that is around getting approval or clearance for this new product, both in the US and in Europe. So I think the outlook looks very positive for the company and happy to use this share price weakness as a buying opportunity. So that's in Petimed. Uh, now I want to make a quick comment on Volpara. Um, their uh, capital raising has been successfully completed, very strong demand, both from institutions and the uh, retail network. They've completed a $7 million placement and there's a, a $3.7 million uh, non-renounceable entitlement issue. On the back of that, it's come entitlement for the next two days and there is a top-up facility available and that's at 60 cents and the share price closed at over 80. Um, in terms of the news flow, it's been very positive for Volpara. Over the last couple of months, they've uh, signed a partnership with Microsoft uh, there's been a major uh, breast cancer risk model which has been set up, noting breast density is one of the key uh, components of breast cancer. They've signed up Stanford University as one of their uh, new uh, uh, customers, very well known and recognised name. In terms of news flow coming up for Volpara, there's still plenty to come. Uh, they expect to sign up a European distributor before Christmas. And there's a major radiology conference in the US uh, where over 50,000 people, many of their uh, customers and potential customers will be at that conference. That's in the next two weeks. So um, there'll be an announcement out on Volpara this morning. Uh, the capital raising's been successfully completed. Um, third thing I uh, just want to mention is an aged care and retirement operators day that we're hosting down in Sydney on the 30th of November. Uh, so that's next week. Got uh, nine companies presenting, including uh, Japara, Bupa, Regis, uh, Gateway Lifestyle, Lifestyles Community, Ingenia, to name a few. Uh, got a very strong lineup from institutions. All the branches are welcome to attend. There's been information circulated on that. Uh, so it'll be a very insightful day. Uh, plenty of uh, industry information coming through on uh, the aged care and retirement uh, operators. So I'll just refer that to you. It's on the 30th of November.